Cat Scrappiness fans, it's Lisa, and I wanted to share a really fun card with you today that I made. Uh, it's a spinner card, and certainly not a new card to the card making world, but I've been enjoying making it lately. And when you spin uh, whatever image you put on the front up before you close the card, when you open it, it just spins around, and it's so much fun to make. And it's really fun for the recipient when they open the card and it just spins around. So um, I wanted to recreate this card today using one of the newest dies we have in the shop. It's called the zigzag dies. These are the rectangle zigzag dies and they there's they come in a few different shapes. They're squares and circles and ovals. I also use the double stitch circles from the store on this card. And the stamp set is called Chubby Bunnies by Sudney Studios. And I'm going to use the little bunny today that's holding the chocolate bunny and eating the chocolate bunny. So I'm going to assume he's a cannibal. But anyway, that's the um, image I'm going to use today because you need a symmetrical image for the spinner card. So that one is the same front and back. So the first thing I wanted to do to give the front of the card a fun look is to stencil on uh, a fun background. So I thought a polka dot background would be fun in some pastel colors. What I like to do is tape my card down to the back of my stencil and that way it's not in the way and it holds the stencil in place. So I chose three different colors of Distress Oxide ink, uh, three pastel colors. The first is Spun Sugar, which I'm going to go ahead and sponge on to the top of the stencil, probably about a third of the way down. And then I'm going to bring in some squeeze lemonade and I'm going to sponge that into the middle and then I'm going to finish off with some tumbled glass. Uh, and those are three nice um, soft pastel colors for Easter since in the end this is going to be an Easter card. And then the big reveal, take my stencil off. I just love how that looks. It's such a beautiful blend all the way down. And what I'm going to do is I made this card um, 6 by 5 inches so that I could put my stencil on with um, room to spare and cut out the panel that I want. So I take it over to my die cut machine and there we go. And the, that die cuts so beautifully and it's got that beautiful zigzag edge all around the outside and I think it just gives it a lot of interest. And then I took my double stitched circle dies and I took out, I chose the circle that would um, best fit the little bunny that I'm using so that he would have room to spin inside of it. So as long as you have um, you know a die big enough to take whatever image you put inside you're good. Uh, then I took my card base. In this case I used pink but you could use whatever base color you wanted. And it's your standard A2 card five and a half by four and a quarter. I laid my stenciled panel down on top of the card and I went ahead and uh, placed my circle die on top of both pieces and I taped it in place. Make sure that your card is opened up all the way before you do this. I'm going to tape the panel down to the card. Run it through my die cut machine and then you'll see it cuts out a circle from the front panel and from the card base at the same time. And that way your circle is in the same spot. And you can line your panel over it very easily. So the next thing I did was I took my stenciled panel and you can see how it lays there really nicely over the circle since they were cut together. So I'm going to take that panel and I'm going to put some liquid glue down all over the back of it. And I like to use liquid glue for this part. You can use tape runner if you want to or double sided sticky tape. tape. I just like to use liquid glue because it gives me a little wiggle room when I lay it down. Um, that way I can get it exactly centered over the circle that's also been cut out on the card base. So I'm just placing it over there and getting it into place. And the next thing I want to do is I want to get my bunnies. I colored two bunnies. I did that off camera just to save a little bit of time, but you can see they're symmetrical. So no matter which way you're looking at them, you can see the whole image and you can see they fit right there inside that circle. No matter which way you spin it, you'll be able to see them. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some thread. Uh, for this card, I just took some basic sewing thread. You can use whatever thread you want. My thread is white, so you'll be able to see it a little bit. Some people 
like to use clear thread, but I didn't have any clear thread, so the white is fine with me. I don't mind the look of, of seeing the, the thread there. I did make this card um, last week, and I used fishing line on it, but I feel like it um, kind of got out of shape the more I spun it, so I really didn't, I wouldn't recommend using fishing line, but the thread from the sewing machine works just fine. So you want to flip the card upside down and you want to lay the thread right across that window that you cut out. Try to get it as centered as possible. You want to tape it above the window and below the window. And then you want to go ahead and trim off your thread. And then once that thread is in place and as centered as possible, flip it on over and get those images that you colored. Again, make sure you've got two symmetrical images. If they're not symmetrical, you could always glue them to a round die cut. That way when they flipped, you'd still see both sides. But in this case, I did choose two symmetrical images. And then again, I'm going to use the liquid glue. It gives me a little wiggle room when I lay the other little bunny on top of it. And when you lay the other image on top, then obviously it sandwiches that thread in between the two images. So I'm just going to glue them together and the Nuvo glue is really good. It dries pretty fast so you can line them up real easily. I just love that cute bunny inside that circle. I wanted to finish this circle off with a nice border so what I did is I took two of the double stitch circle dies, one smaller than the next, and I die cut them at the same time. I taped them down and what that gave me was the circle in the middle, but it also gave me a frame. Uh, and I used glitter paper for this. And I thought that glitter paper would look really pretty around the bunny. I figured uh, that it would just finish off that circle really nicely. So I went ahead and added some glue to that and put it around the bunny. And I just love how that looks. I really think the sparkly paper looks good with the pastel colors. And it just sets that bunny off. And then, in this case, since I chose a pink card base, you've got uh, a pink background for your bunny, which I think looks really great. But you can put any background you want back there, really. You could even stamp um, a repeating image. And then I took the Happy Easter sentiment from the Peking Easter Friends by Gerda Steiner. Uh, and that stamp set is also available in the shop. I just like the font that the Happy Easter is written in on that stamp set. So took out my Tim Holtz stamping platform, set my card down, and I stamped the sentiment in some uh, VersaFine Black Onyx ink. It's my favorite black ink. It just stamps so nice and crisp. So I do use it a lot, although I think it might have been fun to use um, a pink or a blue ink for this card. But that was the closest I had on hand and uh, stamped it twice just to get a good image, although you really don't even need to with this ink. And that's it. Your card is basically done. Can't get my stamp platform closed, but the card is done. <laughs> and there it is, your spinner card. It really is a very quick card to put together, and it looks very impressive when it's all done. It looks like you spent a lot more time on it than you did. And what you want to do is you want to spin your little image as much as possible, and then close it up. And then when your recipient opens it, it just spins. And of course, the more you spin it before you close it, the more it'll spin. So there's the first card I showed you, and there's the one that I made with the zigzag dies. Don't forget to head over to the shop. Check out all the new zigzag dies. They're squares and circles and ovals and lots of fun crafty stuff in the shop. And if you use code LISA10, you can save 10% on your order. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.